If you like what you see, please hit subscribe, click the bell and select all to get all notifications. A very special thank you to all my channel members. To see what the membership has to offer, click the join button and consider becoming a fellow zombie slayer today. Hey guys and welcome back to Nestor Alpha 19. So this was just really, really intense. Remember I said during the night that I'm going to go and just break down this building in the middle over here. And breaking down iron, that loud dinging actually spawned some screamers. So I had like five, six screamers just mass spawning each other over here. And um, yeah, I just stood on top of the roof of here. I had to remove, I'll show you guys what I mean now. I had to remove a block there. Let me just quickly go back there. This was so insane. There were so many zombies just now. And then the cops destroyed most of them. I made sure I pissed off the cops and they exploded. And one of the cops actually dropped an AK. So yay. <laughs> the AKFO. Whoa, two AKs. Okay, so yeah, the crops dropped two okay, AKs. So you guys can see it is starting to cave in over here. Um, I destroyed that block over there because the screamers, when I was standing here, the hordes were coming up this and then trying to get to me. So now this farthing destroyed, instead of coming up here with me, most of them destroyed this, uh, the, the doors and everything. All I had to do was stand on top and they destroyed the, uh, the doors. I had to run back and forth so it didn't destroy the platform I was standing on. But yeah, now all we need to do is destroy this side, and this whole place will come crashing down, and we can actually build our final base. For those of you that are just joining in and wondering what happened to the guards, last episode I wanted to test my pathing over here, so I spawned 25 bikers. But I did not get XP for zombies that I spawned in, I used the command kill all. Because I thought kill all, kill all zombies, yeah, that makes sense. Nope. Kill all. Even the guard captain and trader died. And when I went into god mode and relogged, they were back. So at least the, uh, you know that if you use the kill all, you can get your trader and your guard captain back. And there were two guard captains. There was a bug. Now it's just one. <laughs> so uh, some good came out of it. You don't have to be careful. The heat map, I think, in the area is still very, very high. Um, I could repair this one once. The other one's very, very damaged. I need more repair kits. So I want to see what's holding all of this up. It can't be these blocks on the bottom, so it's either this thing, or it's these over here. Unfortunately, I can't destroy these machines because I'm going to get shocked. I could destroy the floor underneath it, but I don't know if that's going to work out all that well. I just hope taking this out to make the rest cave in. And also, I think something else that's holding up all the weights for some reason, I don't know how it's doing it, are those poles over there. So if I can get rid of these poles and all of this is cave in, we'll get a little bit more iron like so. And yeah, we just got, we didn't actually really get all that much iron because the zombies did most of the digging for us. But these over here are keeping this thing from caving in, I think. So uh, this is 1.5, this is 1,000. Let's just go for the 1,000 block instead. I think that's going to be the fastest way to cave this in. I just hope that when this roof caves in, it doesn't also cave in the stuff on this side as well. But I tested with the screen mods, guys. The zombies definitely do path on these blocks now. So I think it was the archers that are now set to not be able to let zombies pass. So all of you guys that use the archways as holes for the zombies to fall through, be careful. The pathing doesn't work all that well anymore. I don't know if it's just in Darkness Falls or also in Vanilla itself. Either way, you want to make sure that you can actually kill the zombies. You don't have to worry too much. And this thing's so close to one-shotting those blocks. If I can just get up there perhaps and kill it from that side. These trees look like they are on max HP right now. So I should be able to cut them down for a ton of trees but, or wood. But I wonder if I shouldn't wait until we have like a chainsaw or something. I can't believe we're terraforming the whole trader just because I accidentally killed all the guards. Then again, I said, remember, I want my final base to be at 0-0. Zero, zero. So I should actually go check out what is there. But we don't even have a bicycle or mini bike or anything. Heck, we're still looking for a sewing kit for a medium backpack. And calipers for the... What was the other thing? Oh, calipers for the watch. I need to be able to tell the time in-game as well. There's no other frames or places. Well, it was the door frames. Okay, for those of you wondering what just happened, um, the, if the door is destroyed, this thing, the blocks around the door still technically provide a little bit of support. And look at this, all this iron over here. So I just need to destroy a few of these blocks on the inside to have all of the rest cave in for me. Boom. Okay, I just hope no streamers come from all the noise that I'm making right now. That tower isn't a cave-in, guys. I'll just redo that with uh, creative mode. Someone said during the stream, why don't you just do those signs that uh, talks about membership with creative mode? No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Two screamers. No, 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 no. I'm just going to run away. I'm just going to run away. Run, 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 run. Damn, all that noise, uh, noise just called two screamers to me. 
Dogs? I wonder if I shouldn't just try and kill her quickly because she is following me. She's the only one really following me at the moment. But if she screams over here, yep, she just spawned more zombies towards me. Those ones over there are coming for me now. Okay, doggo, doggo, doggo. Damn it, I can't believe I just had a screamer spawn from the uh, caving stuff in. But yeah, I don't want to face too many screamers, guys. They just waste my ammo and my stamina and everything too much. So I'm going to try and see if I can't kill the zombies this way. And the ones inside should lose all hope of seeing me. Those are there. They should lose track of me or just whatever in me and come for over here. Okay, those inside, I wonder what they're doing right now. Ooh, they're going for the walls. They might just end up killing the trader. If I can kill the dogs and the cops, perhaps, from over here. Or just even the, uh, the screamers. Because there's a, they're the real threat at the moment. Those screamers spawn even more and more and more. I should be able to kill all of these zombies. But like I said, the dogs are the main threat right now. So if I can just kill them. Just make sure we get some doggos over here. Come on. Okay, if I can get them to come over here. And then go back and kill the rest of the zombies while they're focused over here. That, that might work. Are there more dogs in there? I can't tell from over here. Whoa, why are you vomiting? What are you vomiting at, cop? They were definitely just attacking something that wasn't even there. Okay, so the dogs. Do they follow me no matter where I go? Like they know I'm here? I want to see if I can't get away with murder. See, they've already given up on me, these guys. See, if I can stealth kill them... We'll just kill them all. No one else is looking. That's going to be some awesome XP. The okay, problem is I don't want this taking too long. Okay, just did a headshot on that guy. And he's still alive. No, 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 no. I just need to do one more shot and he's dead. And I get his XP. Oh, crap. That's a bad shot, John. I need to make sure that they don't... Oh, like this. I'm just uh, say I must make sure they can't get to me through a weird hole or something in the walls. But it does seem like they're all trying to get to me over here. Hello, doggies. Okay, so. Come on, I need to kill you guys through this hole. Come through this hole, please. No, I'm not even going to care that I'm clipping through the blocks of here. As long as I can kill the dogs, I'm fine. Come on, more dogs, more dogs. Let's hope the cop doesn't get me from behind. Okay, and dead soldier. Ooh, just at the last second. Okay, so all the zombies have noticed me, it seems, which is bad. I wonder if I can't draw the attention over there as well. Come on, I'm right here. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop reloading. Oh, crap. Now I'm stuck in here with zombies and stuff. Oh, crap. I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding. There's more ferals, right? Yep. Way too many ferals. Let's just run, run, run. It's a shame I can't get them in the tunnel with the bear. Just with the bear. Make um, a little bit of a plaything with these zombies. Come on. I can take down ferals, but just one at a time. This guy is not even feral, he's just a football player. That's why he's so fast. Ooh, they just helped me out tremendously. Okay, cool. Now, we need guns. It's unfortunate that I used up all my shotgun ammo and stuff. I don't have any left, right? Well, we do have AKs, so technically I could just take care of all the zombies that way. Do you see me? No, it looks almost like he wants to vomit from over there. If that cop vomits this uh, direction right now, he might just end up killing me with his vomit. Okay, so yeah, vomit. Bye-bye. And then while you're not looking, we can just do some melee damage to you guys. Okay, if I can shoot you in the face... The blunderbuss pads. Oh, come on, stop reloading. Stop reloading. Uh, let's just run. I'm going to break my legs over here. And I'm infected. Sprained leg. Running out of stamina. Yeah, this is so not good. Come on, I'm doing power attacks on this guy. So every time I miss, I end up wasting way too much stamina. I wonder if I have any 762 ammo on me. If I just had a little bit of 762 ammo, I might be able to use my AK on these guys. Okay, and you are feral. You are reloaded, yes, nice. I just need to make that little bit more extra damage on this guy. Okay, so I need to be careful that screamers don't all of a sudden show up from behind. And my stamina needs to replenish over here. Okay, what a way to start this episode. Damn. But I knew that... I, I was actually dumb. I knew that there were going to be more screamers because of the fact that just digging the, uh, those doors out called more. So I should have been way more careful just now. They just reload while he's still behind this guy. I wanted to vomit at the guy in front of me. 
If I can make this cop mad and just make him... Oh crap. No, 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 no. He's going to be able to hit me with that vomit. Wait, he's not vomiting. Boom. Oh crap. Run, 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 run. And I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. He's right behind me. No, 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 no. Ooh, okay, he has to stop to explode. Okay, I forgot that I have a sprained leg, so he would have been easily able to explode me just now. Oh crap, no, 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 no. Okay, so as you guys can see, I have some really bad luck, really bad aiming, really bad everything right now. Let's just see if I can't kill this cop from the, uh, from the back over there. Make him explode on that side. Or even if he charges me right now, I should be able to get away from him. Infected cop. Okay, before he vomits, you need to make sure you shoot him so he doesn't vomit. You interrupt his chain. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You stumbled just now, so he might have been a little bit closer to me than I liked. Okay, finally, I think we got all the zombies. I hope we got all the zombies. I want to be able to keep on going from there, but I just know. We just wasted the quality on all our tools, weapons, everything. So I need to be super, super careful as to not draw too much attention to myself right now. Although, I really want to pick up all that iron right here. There's so much iron just lying around over here now. I mean, look at this. And all of these are one-shot destruction, so that's nice. Okay, so, whoa, don't know why my mouse just did that. Uh, we can now build over here. That's reinforced concrete underneath us, asphalt all around. So now we can actually make a base in the safety of our own home. The only problem is there's no guards. The nice thing about this is we've got a ton of iron just now. The bad thing is, I don't know if it's worth with no guards in the area. Although we do want our own standalone base. Without the protection of guards every now and then. Okay, so I should probably just first see. Do I have coins on me? Can I sell to this guy? I wonder. No, I can't. I want to buy, if he has, some antibiotics. Well, there's he has honey, so technically that's antibiotics. I'll just grab my own then. Leg is sprained. Yeah, I see that. Okay, honey, there you go. And then food and water, I need to make sure we're always full on. 20 food, no, that's a waste. Let's just eat bacon and eggs then. And then drink some water. I don't want to waste anything right now. So I want to drink and eat just enough so it doesn't go over the limit, although that went a little bit. And then the rest of the stuff, we need to start selling and taking back to our base over there. So I think for now, that's going to be the best place or the safest place. Although, if we make our standalone base over here, then we don't need that one. We can just cave that in. The problem is, it just looks so ugly in this area now. So I wonder if I shouldn't just place my stuff, stuff in that base, gather all the iron over here, and just go to a new location. Um, I want to go to zero, 0, just to see what's in the middle of the map over here. This is more or less zero, 0, right here. See, if, I, if there's a town there, I can actually build there, build a massive base over there. And while I'm here, I can just quickly clear out this whole town. I want to make sure this whole town is looted before I move on. And that's a tough part right now, getting all this stuff done. Okay, uh, weapons go over there. Weapon parts. Do I have any repair kits left over here? Oh wait, wrong way. Oh, that sucked. So remember guys, this also dumps back into your inventory now, so you must be careful which way you click the button. If you're so frazzled like I am right now after all that's happened, you can easily accidentally, like I just did, press the wrong button. Okay, what can stack? A ton of here. Not all that much. I need more ammo. We do have more storage over here. I'm just going to put a random storage box. It doesn't have to be named. Just so we have more storage to work with over here. So technically, we can lock the first four. Grab everything. Grab everything. And just dump everything in here. It should, more or less, everything should go in there. And now we can also see, is there anything in the other boxes that could have stacked over here? Okay, so we also have these chests now just for the last few things that are remaining. I need to see if I can't make myself some armor. At the moment, we are very, very low on armor, I think. Do I have a chest? I don't even have a chest piece. Can I make scrap armor? Armor. Iron armor. Ooh, I can already make iron armor. But I wonder what's going to be more with it. Iron armor or scrap armor? Although I think I still have to unlock scrap armor crafting. Uh, scrap chest. Nope. Chest. Yeah, that's still locked, and that's all, only level 2. So I think it'll be better for me just to go for the iron armor right off the bat, and we make it in there, if I'm not mistaken. So what we need right now is some iron and clay to make ourselves some more forged iron, although we have quite a bit of here, so I'll see what I can and can't make. We grab this, and we need those workbenches on top. I wonder if we'll be able to make the armor without... 
Oh, Welding Torch required. Are you kidding me? Damn, I was worried about that. We still need calipers and a Welding Torch. Can you make one? Torch. Welding Torch. Not lootable. Oh, loot only. Not craftable, I mean. Damn it. We need armor. And badly at the moment. We are actually doing really, really badly when it comes to armor and stuff. Okay, so we'll put these away for now. We only need lockpicks. We have the breach rounds. What else do I have? Shotgun ammo. And another shotgun. I'm just going to keep the one shotgun. I just didn't remember to switch to and from. And then the knife. Let's just quickly repair this one. With these over here. We have a claw hammer. We should have a spare wrench over here. So that, can, we, I can, that we can actually put in this box over here. I don't know why I'm stumbling like that. Stuttering like that. Okay, so 19. 11. That should more or less... See, I should actually repair these before combining them. Let's see if I can't make a repair kit or two, but I'm going to need some duct tape, I think. Let's see. That goes over there. Duct tape. Just one. I have bones. Do I have glue? If I could skip that right now. Damn it. I'm going to have to make myself some more. And that takes long, and it's very expensive to make. I don't want to waste all my water on this as well. Okay, so we need the 50 jars. And how much should I actually make myself? I need glue right now. Let's just first put some fuel in there. How much can I make? Ooh, I almost forgot about the sap. I can get it from trees. As long as I have the clay, I can actually do that. Okay, let's go for 21. So that's five minutes. Just need to put a few more, a little bit more fuel in there. And yeah, why not? One more. Okay, so we're going to keep the steak and uh, eggs with us and some water with us so that we know we have food and water always. And then the bones we just have to put away for now. I want to make repair kits, but I need... I can actually make one repair kit at least. I want to make sure I start repairing stuff over here. Um, iron, where's my iron? We just had a stack of iron. Did I put away somewhere else? Oh no, there it is. Scrap shovel, there you go. Uh, blunderbuss just requires this, but the quality is going to go lower if I repair it right now. And I just need cloth. See, I need to sort my inventory better. I need, I need a proper inventory before I can I go on. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, you do need cloth, you need some oil, which we should still have of. And we need mechanical parts for some repair kits. Although, I can only make one because it's it takes two duct tape per. So it's really, really expensive to make. Okay, so I'm just going to repair this one. Combine it with my current one, and then we just need to come back to repair the rest of the stuff. If I can repair this, uh, the pickaxe right here, I can combine it with my better quality one. Which I put somewhere just now, just don't know where. The quality is so bad, so I should be able to spot it quite easily. There you go, 31. See, I, could, I don't want to repair this one. If I repair this one, it's going to lose way, lose way too much quality. But if I repair this one, it's going to work out so much better. So that's two more duct tape right there. Uh, oil, mechanical, and cloth. I keep losing track of the cloth because I keep dumping it. I just dumping it in instead of placing it back in. Okay, so two more duct tape, and that means one more repair kit. And that repair kit can go towards this pick, and we can just combine the two. I just want to make sure those two things, at least for now, are done, and then we'll just wait for the rest of the glue to finish. My health is really, really low at the moment, though, so I wonder if I shouldn't just use one of these. It's a waste. I just have to eat food and water and stuff. But I'm going to go out looting now, and I can't afford to not, health, not, uh, not have any health. Not have health. Okay, so repair. I'm going to take this knife. Oh, there's the other one. Oh, that just gave me a fright. Okay, so I can do this. That's level 20. Do this. That's a level 21. And now it's a little bit more damage, and I can actually put two mods on there. I just need to go into weapons, uh, weapon crafting and tool crafting a bit more. Oh, we have skill points. Nice. Okay. So I'm going to go into weapon crafting. That's for knives. And then gun crafting. That's for weapons. So now when I repair those things, it's not going to take as much from me. Even the tools, since these are most important, I want to make them to level 31 now. That's green. And when I repair them, they don't drop below 31. So now we can go mining, especially since I just need one more skill point and I can actually go for minor 69er. Also, that just gives me a chance to make the 60 because this needs to be 60 for you to get 5 out of 5 minor 69er. Okay, we can go, I think. So make sure we have everything we need. Food, water. Uh, two should be enough. Uh, we have a little bit of blunderbuss ammo, really not that much. Iron pick, that one's repairing right now. So just quickly want to repair or combine these two, and then we can go. Boom, level 31. I still need to repair this a bit more, although now I can repair this one. I don't have to worry now, because like I said, now it's level 3, the other one. Okay, so what have we not looted yet? 
We need to keep on going from that construction site over there. Um, I don't have any weapons that can kill a bear, right? I might be able to explode it to death. Um, yeah, I, I, if I take my bow with me, if I make a bow and I use that, I could explode it to death, or I could just use this and kill the bear. I want to be able to kill that bear and say that I've killed the bear. So I'm just going to combine these two then, although I need to repair before I can mod it. That sucks. I hate it when that happens. That's so dumb. You first have to repair it before you can mod it. And sometimes you want, don't want to use the gun anymore, but you can't mod it out until you've repaired this. Okay, so while we're still in the area, it seems, let's quickly do this. Although we are very low on oil, so soon we won't be able to make any more repair kits. We just have to keep that in mind. Okay, food, water, doing well. I think while I'm still in the area and waiting for all this stuff, I can't jump down anymore. Ooh, not that I could. Well, technically with my boots, I should be able to. But I should have been able to land on that roof. Now the roof's not there anymore, so I need to be careful of stuff like that. 15 iron per one of these, and there's so many of them. Damn. But I think I'm going to wait until night time and when I have nothing to do to pick up all this stuff. Because like I said, I want to use that as a base. Uh, and that's a, actually a safe place to put all our stuff for now. Although, this is just as safe. This hasn't really taken all that much damage from wards and zombies and stuff. So, we don't even need that base at the moment. We just need the wood behind it and all the iron over here. Our frames and stuff. And then we can go from there. I just want to watch out. I don't accidentally call another screamer right now. Technically, all you need to do is check over here where that says Scout, Spawning Scout. If it says Spawning Scout, then you know, oh crap, there's a scream on its way. I can't wait. And I'm wasting all the quality on this axe before I even do anything. If I can just kill that bear and grab all the resources there, and then we've, we've actually looted quite a few PRIs already. I'm really proud of the progress we've made thus far. Okay, let's see. That we grab and put over here. Repair kits, seven, not bad. And then the rest of this we can put away for now. We don't need any of that right now. Ammo, I'm just going to take with me for the bear. And food and water, that is done over here. Okay, we can finally get away from me and go do stuff. I should be able to make this drop easy. As I also just noticed, another nice thing of us doing the other uh, outer perimeter first is there are so many awesome pure eyes with secret stashes in the middle. So you level up and get your skills high enough to get the best loot in the middle once you get there. I need to pick up all these resources. All the sand, everything. I, I wonder if I can make myself a concrete mixer. I'm not sure. Skill, mix. Concrete mixing, locked behind. Science crafting, two. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, it's already unlocked in the laborer class, it says. So if I can craft it, mixer. What's it locked behind? Hammer and forge. Oh, okay, yeah. I have these classes, but I haven't spent a single point really in here. Over here. Steel arrows, concrete mixer, and concrete. So the next point I get, I need to invest into that one then. Are you the only zombie over here? That should make this relatively easy, shouldn't it? Just want to watch out. I don't accidentally drop down and aggravate the bear before I do anything else. Okay, so we need to get up here quickly because sometimes there's actual loot up here. Although this time it's just a purse. I want to kill the bear first before I grab all the resources and loot this place, I think. It's going to be the safest way to approach this, I think. Okay, loot, thank you. Although, technically, if I get the resources first, well, there's no chance of a Screamer coming for me. If a Screamer manages to get me down here, yeah, I have a big problem, man. Okay, watch out, don't, don't run out of stamina. These corpses slow you down, so it's better to pick up these corpses before you keep on going. Where's the bear? I swear, if this bear spawns in late, I'm going to be so mad. Wait, what? I just glitched to the ground. What the hell? Is this a wandering horde? Oh, this is a wandering horde right now. Hello, hello, hello. Which one of you are feral? Usually with a wandering horde, one or two is feral, but it seems like I'm lucky this time around. Yeah, hit each other. Stand in a Congo line and just smack each other's heads. Oh, wow, that one literally just clipped her and she died. Okay, so the wandering horde came from that side. It actually followed us all the way out here. That is kind of scary. <laughs> it goes to show how good their pathing is. There's even more zombies back there, so I don't want to be busy with a bear. Although, it seems the bear's gone. I'm really going to be mad if the bear's just bugged. But the bear's not there. I can't see the bear. Okay, so I should technically take the mod off of this one. 
because that's the grave digger and they put it on the shovel and i need to make myself an iron shovel as well just to do that little bit more damage because at the moment these are this is two shots thanks to the grave digger if it wasn't for the grave digger i'd still be doing that last third shot to this yeah come on zombies it looks like they're not going to get any closer than that though they gave up halfway through okay so where is the bear i'm kind of scared right now i just gl uh, got glitched through so if the bear actually is here, I might have a big problem, man. Let me just do this. Where's my AK? Also, probably should repair my AK so I can mod the spring on it so it can fire faster. Ooh, modify. I don't have to repair. Nice. Uh, but now I just have to reload it again. Guys, usually the bear is just standing right here. So the fact that I can't see the bear, I wonder if I, when I said kill all the bear, because the bear was already spawned in. So when I said kill all, it might have actually killed the bear as well, not just the guards. But I swear, if the bear just spawns in all of a sudden, I'm going to be so mad. That's going to be the biggest bullshit death I can think of. So, any pure I come across where the zombies already were re or will already spawn, they will be defenseless. But any pure eyes, like for example this one. This bear was already here. It's almost always here already. So when I said kill all, I killed these. When I got closer, the rest of the zombies spawned in. So that's why they're still here, but the bear's not here. I think that's the best explanation I can give for this. That's the only thing that makes sense. Okay, let's pick up all the resources over here, and that's just going to help us with our base. Especially, guys, if we can make our own standalone reinforced concrete base, that's going to come in handy. Oh, that's going to be so good. I want to try, though, and see if the wedge chips still let the zombies slide. Like, if you go for the wedge chip, uh, wedge chip design uh, that we used to do, the cheese build in Alpha 18 where they slide off. Although, technically, I don't think it's cheesing it, because... It's a way for the zombies to get over, but they do slide because it's so steep. The way you just moved, you sound really, really fast. Yeah, feral infected. Okay, so the nurse followed him all the way over here. Damn. Talk about dedication. So we can range this, and we can range these over here. There's more resources. I think last time I started picking up from these resources, and I said, you know what? Let me just wait until I have proper tools. I want to actually see if I can't perhaps make a screamer farm. Like a place where I can just spawn as many screamers as possible, and just kill as many zombies as possible for those sweet, sweet levels. Ooh, another feral. It's weird how the two ferals were at the back over there, and then the slower zombies were here by me. Because she and other guy were there, and they were the ferals, and the rest of the zombies were over here with me. But yeah, um, I want to see if I can't make a base where I can just uh, farm uh, zombies. Uh, so the previous base I made with the sled starts, I think that's my best bet. But since I now know how that one looked, I might be able to tweak the newer one to be a little bit better. With the previous one, it was just a little bit too far for the zombies to run sometimes. And yeah, that, that just didn't work out all that well. It was just too much blo too many blocks. I was constantly worried about the structure integrity. So this time around, all I need to do is try and see if I can't just streamline it a bit. Just, uh, just make it a little bit easier to use. So the pathing for the zombies is going to be a little bit shorter. Ooh, this thing is 800 HP. Yeah, but the pathing for the zombies is going to be much, much shorter in during the thing. Uh, but it's going to look almost exactly the same. But where the zombies stand, instead of having like five blocks divided be uh, with a block, I'm only going to have one block. And I wonder if I shouldn't just have the zombies come from one direction instead of two. Two is just better for if there's demolishers and they destroy one side. But if you can just design it right, you might be able to take the demolishers out before they really do anything. With zombies being able to get up from both sides, you have to worry too much about zombies all over. But if you can... Uh, Delegate where they should come from, that's gonna give you a massive boost, massive leg up. Ooh, electrical parts, nice. This is one of those episodes, almost like a stream, where I'm just talking, you guys are listening while playing, perhaps. <laughs> because I'm not really doing a lot of stuff on camera, like killing zombies and going through massive dungeons and stuff. It's more just one of those where you have someone talking with you while you play. Because this game, I don't know how many times I've said it in the past, guys, this game is meant to be multiplayer. They, they created it as single player and marketed it as such. And then they said uh, later on, you know what? There's such a massive multiplayer uh, following, let's make multiplayer. But this game shines in multiplayer. Single player just gets boring sometimes not being able to talk to people. I keep hearing stuff. I don't know if it's a fan that I have on behind me. Or if it's zombies and planes and stuff on top. I mean, if, if there's like a die wolf walking around on top, then I might just have a big problem when I show my head. I just like the fact that I'm doing 100 damage now with this thing. That is so awesome.
we're finally doing a right amount of damage. So that means our mining tools should be 60 about now, which means I might be able to max out minus 69 now when I have the new point. Although, like I said, guys, we have to also go for concrete mixing and stuff like that. So the first point we get, like, for example, this one, laborer, hammer and forge, buy it. Now we just need an engine. So every car we come across, we have to dismantle to make sure we get that engine. Because with my luck, you guys, you guys know my luck. I wrench cars and wrench cars and wrench cars and there's just no engines anywhere. Okay, so we got all the resources from this place, as far as I can see, except the sand. I wonder if it's worth getting the sand, because if, as long as I have a ton of stone, I can just convert that into sand. I mean, it's an extra step, so obviously that's not the best of uh, things to do. But it saves me time from having to pick up all the stone or sand as well. It already took me this long just to get the resources in here. Now I have to go for the sand as well. No, thank you. Okay, nice. We got all the resources over here. So next building on the map is going to be the one to that side. But for now, let's just quickly go drop all our resources. We're going to be encumbered over here. We're technically already encumbered. We just need that sewing kit. But the trader is not selling anything. And it seems you can't make a sewing kit out of needle and thread and stuff. That would be awesome. We could just make your own stuff. So far, our loot, uh, I've noticed that in 19.2 and version 3.2. I think it's more Darkest Falls 3.2 thing. It's way harder getting stuff. In 3.1, we already have so many welding torches and calipers and stuff. Now, oh, hello, Screamer. Now, that's not the case. I wonder if I, can, I can't kill her from over here. Can I? Are you dead? Please tell me you're dead. I don't feel like facing another scream ward right now. Although if you weren't the only one, then I am gonna face another one soon. See if I can late I think I'm gonna build ya. I mean it's, it's very close to zero zero. I'm gonna build ya because it's a massive parking lot over here that I can use. And then later on when I have an orgo or so whatever, I could just drop that and make it look nice. I mean this is such an open field over here, it would be dumb of me not to use it. Okay, I wonder if I shouldn't keep the AK on me just for that oh shit situations. <laughs> Like, for example, if there was a bear, we'd kill it with this. The, uh, the screamers we can kill with this. Screamer hordes we can kill with this. Okay, what else can I drop over here right now? Seems though, like my inventory is really, really starting to get full. So I need a proper base of my own really soon. I just dumped everything, didn't I? I need to press this button, but I pressed the wrong one. Okay, I wonder if I shouldn't just first go and see if I can't pick up all the iron over here. Because as soon as we have a concrete mixer, we should be able to make one right now. Do we have an engine? Please tell me we have an engine. I know we have batteries. We have a ton of batteries. But I don't think we've been lucky in the engine department. Which sucks, because that's, that's literally all we need to make our own concrete mix. We have so much cement. We have so much stone. We just need to make ourselves some sand now, or go pick up the other sand. But if you look at this, we have a stack and a half almost of just stone. So that's really epic. Okay, so we're going to sell... <gasps> Ooh, I can use this as a helmet. This is light armor still, but I mean, I can put way more stuff on this than compared to the mining helmet. Ooh, and a better quality. I didn't even realize I had that one. Nice. Modify, so I can technically sell this one. Repair. Um, this we can scrap. This we can sell. This we can sell. And this we can wear. I need to make sure I'm always wearing the best stuff for me. Especially armor-wise, guys, we, st we need to really start thinking about armor, chest armor, plate armor, all that stuff. But even for that, we need a welding torch. And so far, like I said, luck. <laughs> My luck has been really, really bad. So if I can sell a few things perhaps quickly and just see if I can't buy uh, the tools. Although I think we've already checked in the current stash and there was nothing there. So I'm just going to check one more time and then day 11 at least it will reset. But that's day 11. I don't know if we're going to be able to wait that long. Make yourself at home. Make yourself at home. Well, thank you. I will. Okay, let's see. Uh, mini bike stuff. Now it's 4.5 because I didn't have the Grandpa's Awesome Sauce. So that was a 900 discount. Damn. Okay, so sell, sell. I should have actually repaired that, but that's okay. And that is 1.7. You don't have any tools, right? No welding torches. No sewing kits. Nothing. I should probably just do this instead of scrolling. Just now I scroll too fast and I scroll past it. I need to make myself contact grenades as well, and just as many repair kits as I can possibly make. I need to start stacking up on that. And also, if he has an engine for me, I'm buying it instantly. See, the steel's expensive, but technically we do need to start thinking about augers and stuff like that. Although we, uh, we gave up the auger schematic last time, so we can't even do that right now. Okay, so day 11, we're going to be checking back. So I think what I'm going to do now is off camera, just quickly pick up all the iron over here. 
I uh, just need to be very, very careful because, like I said, screamers, they love the noise of iron clinging. And then next episode, we can actually start making our own base. But before that, I wonder if I shouldn't start making at least some rebar over here. So all we need is some iron. Where's the rest of my iron? I need some iron and I need some clay over here. And then the rebar, we put... Yeah, it's on top of here. Only problem now is, now I'm definitely going to get a screamer. Because I'm making this while... Okay, let's see. Rebar. Rebar. That is in the metal workbench. 5 to 1. Wait, what? Rebar, rebar, rebar. But I think to do to use this, anvil required. Wait, what? I wonder if that's not the bigger forge then. It's cheaper in the bigger forge. So for now, I'll just put it over here. Why not? I just want about like 100 or so rebar. 100. That's an hour, but still, uh, if we have that much rebar, we should be able to get our foundation ready. And also, we can actually use these ramps and stuff over here to help the zombies get up as well. But then again, we don't want zombies going for the pillars and destroying everything. I want a solid foundation and just going from there. So the foundation itself, I think I'm going to make like 5x5, five five, very, very small. And then just that little bit of a window where zombies can see us and we'll see how that works out. But yeah, if you guys like this episode, please have a like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback for me that I miss anything or I think about this episode, anything at all, leave your comments down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.